Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kom Yasha Allah, Kohloimla, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim, Akaha Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say Thubada to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to the best of their ability. Shachanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And just wanted to touch on um, this Amazon Go technology is pretty much is moving throughout the world, man. Um, this is uh, the Detroit News, one of the casinos where I live at. It says new casino express market has Amazon's just walk out technology. OK. Um, it says the Hollywood Casino at Greektown has a new grab and go market express pit spot. That employs the use of the new technology from Amazon. The first in the city of Detroit, the Just Walk Out system allows customers to shop for snacks and refreshments and then just leave when they're done. Shoppers insert their credit card or use their Amazon One ID upon entry, and the tech knows what they pick up, picked up, and put back during the visit. Cars are charged upon um exit. Okay. It says, what's Amazon One? It's a new biometric touchless payment system offered by the brand. Users hover their palm over the Amazon One device at a store. It identifies them by the uniqueness of their palm and charges the connected debit or credit card. So basically, as you can see, hey, this is a... Just that new technology for you, man, that's going into um, Revelations 13, 16. You see? It says shoppers can enroll at Amazon's one device kiosk at the market. So, <laughs> hey, they, and people going to do this shit. People people be doing stuff like this. They look at it like, uh, well, it's convenient, it's quick, and plus it's the future. And, you know, people want to make it seem like they're just so far ahead of the game. And look at me. That's like you. Look at me. Okay, it says at Hollywood Casino at Greektown, the customer experience is at the heart of everything we do. So being able to offer this in this, this innovative, convenient, and seamless retail experience for our guests is certainly a win. See, <laughs> said the casino general manager, John Drake, in a media alert. We're thrilled to work with Amazon to bring this cutting edge technology to Detroiters for the first time. See, that's how they're going, you know, they try and make it seem like it's all... You know, look at this innovative innovation. Look at this, the future. You know, look at us. We're ahead of the game. We're ahead of, look. you know, when you come here, you're going to have the greatest experience. That's why the scripture says never to trust thine enemy. Like his iron rust, if so is his wickedness, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. You know, roughly paraphrasing, because this is that, that crouching and that humbling, you see. Let me let me get that back. Look at how they worded this. It says, um, uh, what, uh, let me start it back. It says at Hollywood Casino at Hollywood Casino at Greek Town, the customer experience is at the heart of everything we do. See, there they go with that that crouching and humbling. So so being able to offer this innovative, convenient, and seamless retail experience for our guests is certainly a win. See, see how they put all those words together. You see, they put those those touching words together. Like, hey, hey, I'm telling you, man. Hey, hey, this thing is upon us, man. Don't slip, don't sleep, you um, you know, Jake. Don't don't slip, don't slip, don't slip, man. <laughs> because we are definitely at the end of this thing, man. And the so-called white man, he's really out here. He's gonna offer this thing real soon. First, it's gonna be an offering. Then it's gonna be a basically a a a a. a a thing of making you do it, so to speak, or you can't live without it, so to speak. They're going to use um, food, resources, um, water, you know, things that people really need. And they're going to use your family against you if you're not one. If you're one of those people that's like, nope, fuck that. I'm not getting nothing in me because that palm thing, that's all boiling down to them getting you used to getting that that thing thing in you, man. You know, that Elon Musk, they want to put that, 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 that potato chip in your ass man it says hollywood market express is a 400 square foot store that sells nuts now look at what they sell they want you to go through all this with just some shit like this nuts chips 
candy and other snacks plus beverages and souvenirs now where the fuck would i go through all that to um just walk in and grab some shit and walk out you know you know why, why would i you know um go through the, the 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 trouble of having my palm scanned and all this other shit my fingerprints and all this other stuff to buy some fucking snacks and it's the same thing with the people that's actually getting the um the c hip in them they talking about, yeah, I can unlock my car door. Okay, I can unlock my car door with my fucking key. <laughs> with my key fob. But see, this is the thing that they're doing. Like, things like key fobs to the newer cars. Um, you know, um, uh, the new chips that's on the, um, you know, your debit cards and stuff like that. Like, that tap and pay. Look, all this stuff is leading to a cashless society. And from there, because I think today, well, today, December 13th, is going into December 14th. But... Today was the day that um, that executive order that Joe, um, Joe Biden signed in March in March went into effect today as far as the um, what's it called? The CBDC, CBDC, I think it is. I'm so lucky if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's the, the digital, the digital, new digital system, so to speak. Right. But why would you go and go through all these troubles just to buy some some snacks? You see. And then, I mean. I guess see people or people have that microwave mindset. They have that um the spirit of Esau actually. Esau eat him the so called white man. You know? He he's the one that sold his birthright because he couldn't wait on food to get done. You know, he was starving. He was starving so to the point that he just sold his birthright. What good is my birthright to me if I'm dead? Roughly paraphrasing. So, you know, Jacob ended up getting the birthright out of him for some, you know, some food that wasn't quite done this is this is the man that that, that want to you know it's the he has that microwave spirit he wants things instantly he he wants self gratification you know right on the spot he doesn't want to wait for it this is the man that has a drive through restaurant on every corner in america because people can't wait and 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 you see how people act when they go through a drive through man and 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 their order is they have to wait five minutes. <laughs> People go fucking nuts at these drive throughs man. Okay, but anyway, Hollywood's Market Express is a 400-square-foot a store that sells nuts, chips, candies, and other snacks, plus beverages and souvenirs. That don't make no sense at all. It's located inside the Monroe Market, a fast, casual food hall that offers made-to-order hot food like burgers, pizza, and tacos. A bunch of damn bullshit. The hell out of here, man. But anyway, let me go into the scriptures real quick. I just wanted to grab the main one, really. I just seen that story as I was sitting and um, listening to one of the brothers' uh, lessons out in um, GMS Dallas. Brothers is very edifying, man. I love those brothers. Um, yeah, Revelations 13 and 16. Because this is what it's all leading up to. And I know it sounds hey, it's like beating a, a damn horse. A dead horse or it's, it's, it's like a broken record but we got to continue on doing these lessons because there are a lot of people a lot of new people that are coming into this truth and just to just show that you know this is how commonplace this thing is, is starting to become it's, it's, it's starting to become a real commonplace thing for people to pay with their phone apple pay google pay samsung pay you know but basically this this putting your palm you know that swipe of the palm thing and hey, that's going off into this right here Revelations 13 and 16. And he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. See? It's going to come a point where cash is going to be out of here. You can, you can have as much shit. You can have a shitload of cash. That cash ain't going to be nothing. You see, it's going to be a point where you're not going to even have access to a store unless you wave your palm or they scan in your damn forehead. You're not going to even be able to get in. <laughs> for real, for real, you're not going to be able to get in there, man. And, and if you don't have any cash on hand, they're going to be able to tell even if you got this thing. Say if you get this, this, this um, M-A-R-K. And you don't have no funds on it. You're not going to be able to get in certain places. You're not going to be able to just walk in. They're going to be able to scan you and be like, oh, bam, 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 bam. no funds, no funds, no funds. <laughs> and, it's, and the door is going to lock. The door is only going to unlock for people to have the, you know, 
You've seen it in the movies, man. They're not showing this stuff in the scientific movies for nothing, man. These damn sci-fi movies. We've been seeing it in the, in the apostles and prophets have been going out on the highways and been talking about this for, for over 30 years, man. It's, it's finally coming into um, fruition. This is Revelations 14 and 9. Now, this is if you get this shit. If you go down to Egypt and depend upon the white man, so to speak. That's why that scripture talks about woe unto them that go down to Egypt in Isaiah. Um, Revelations 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and, the, and his image, and receive his mark in their forehead, in his forehead, or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. See? Hey, this is not going to be a pretty thing for those that accept that shit. Now let's get um, Isaiah 31 real quick. Because if you see... You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, first off, you are the Hebrew Israelites. They want you to do this, first off, because they want you to become a perpetual slave. That's what this is all going into, becoming a perpetual slave. It's not enough that they track you every movement as you, as you go about day-to-day -day with your cell phone. They pretty much know about where you're at. But see, like with cash, you can go to an ATM machine, and they'll have a timestamp as to when you was there. But once you get that cash out, they don't know where you're going with that cash. But now, if you're constantly using your, your, your debit card with the chip or whatever, they can, de they can follow you around anywhere. He was last here 15 minutes ago. They can use the camera, zoom in, see what camera light you at, use another camera, use another camera, use another camera, and track your ass down right now. They can do that right now. But just think, if they put something within you, like a, a, a GPS-type box or whatever, and that's pretty much about what that's going to be, man. They're going to, you know, be on top of your carbon footstep with it. They're going to be able to tell you, nah, well, you know what? You've had a soda too many this month. You, um, you, you can't buy, you know, you can't, <laughs> you know, you've, you've driven too many miles this week. You've gone over your, your, your allotment of miles. You've driven over your 25 mile limit this week. Um, you, you're going to have to wait to reload. <laughs> you know, so this is this is what all this stuff is boiling down to, man. But if you trust this man, your ass is doomed. We just read it in fourteen um, Revelations fourteen and nine. Now let's get um, Isaiah thirty one and woe. Um, 30, 31 and one. I said woe, but that is woe. It says woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many. And in horsemen, because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. See, and this is going to be a big problem for a lot of our people. If you're not seeking the Lord in these last days and you fall for getting what this man wants you to put in your body, your ass is doomed. And a lot of people are going to go for it because they have absolutely no faith in the Lord, man. And we're praying to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man, that we're, we're able to make it through this shit, man. Because it's going to be a very tempting time because a a lot of people, going they're not going to depend upon the Lord. Man, the Lord said he's going to, his servant shall eat, his servant shall drink, his servant shall be joyful. You know, so, hey man, that's what we're, 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 we're counting on. You know, we're counting on, on the Lord doing what he said he's going to do for us and having mercy on us, man. And not, you know, removing his Holy Spirit for us that we can have endurance, that we can endure these times that's to come. Because it's going to get rough, man. It's going to be a lot of Jake. They're going to try and fight it out. I ain't getting that shit. I ain't letting them. I know what that is. That's the marketer. Because a lot of people know. But if you're not following Yahweh, why Yahweh is shy, then you're doomed anyway. You might as well get it. Because the Lord has given our people the opportunity to repent. Because, you know, this man, he wants to enslave the entire world. But he most definitely wants you Israelites to be enslaved. You know, but if you give up, hey, you give over your... You're right, so to speak, to these people. You're doomed, man. You know, because it, this scripture says again, woe to them that go down to Egypt. America is uh, is spiritual Egypt. That's why you see that pyramid on the back of that dollar, man. And who did they have? What did Egypt do to the Israelites? They had the asses in hardcore slavery. And you Israelites are you so-called, the Israelites are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. They want you.
<laughs> to be, they already have you as slaves. They didn't have you for damn near 500 years, but that's not enough. That's not enough. It's nothing we can actually even do. We're here in this man's kingdom. We work. They take the taxes out of our shit. You know, we, we we're, we're constantly being beat, beat up and battered. We're constantly being worn out, but that's not enough for this man. This man can't have enough. He wants to, to actually digitally enslave us, man. You have to realize who you're dealing with, man. You're dealing with Esau Edom, a cunning hunter, the so-called white man. And it's the elite, the upper elite of them that's actually empowered as doing this thing because these average white people, man, so-called white people, they don't know what the fuck going on. They just as doofy as the so-called black people. They don't know what's going on out here for real, man. You see? So I didn't want to keep the lesson long, but let's go back and let me see, though. Because if you're not familiar with this Amazon uh, Go... It's not really that old, but brothers was doing lessons on it last year. Let me see. Let's uh let me copy it real quick and go into uh Google search. See if we can get a little more info on it in case you haven't seen it before. Yep, see I remember this and they, and they always going to have the black woman. I remember the animation. They had an animation of this so-called black woman, you know what I'm saying? That was um that was promoting it. But this is it right here. Let me see if we can get this to play. And then you can get an idea of what, what this is. Uh, or maybe not. Ah, something. Okay, well, you know what? Let's go on to YouTube. Maybe we can play it in YouTube. It's a lot here. Let's do it in there real quick. I kind of had that microchips and humans. <laughs> you know, we have to use cold word, man, out here, man. It's a shame. You, you, you know, you have to use cold word. Because these people, this is how serious this is, though. Okay, so here you go right here. This is the tech right here. I didn't want I don't want to get a real long one. I think that's the same one I was trying to play right here. Well, here you go right here. Do not buy generic Viagra anywhere until you hear what happened when I signed up for an online Slot program offering for the, for the generic ad. Viagra. If you don't have your wallet, there's no problem. Just scan your palm to pay. Amazon One is a payment system that has been tested at several stores around the Bay Area, and now it may be coming to a grocery store near you. Ground Force Justin Campbell has more on how it works and the privacy concerns. Just out of your palm real quick. We may scan it. I hope you don't use that. <laughs> the idea of using your palm to pay doesn't feel right for this Whole Foods customer, but others like the idea. I don't know who else can get into my palm, really. Really, but I'm not really against it. The technology coming to the Bay Area Whole Foods stores over the next few weeks works like this. Amazon says no two palms are alike. They use vision technology. You hold your hand above the device, which scans and takes less than a minute to create a palm signature. Your palm is connected to your credit card online, so whenever you want to pay, all you have to do is hover your palm. Too intense. It's a little crazy. This customer is worried about privacy. I think using your DNA and stuff is just too much to give out. There's a lot of different variables that need to be considered. Ralph Aceves with Hacker Strike says in general the technology is safe, but he does have concerns. The data that is being downloaded from the cloud to be able to know who you are based on your palm um, stored in the device. Amazon says palm images are not stored on the device. The images are encrypted and sent to the cloud. Aceves' other concern is phishing. For example, at a grocery store, there's no one around, and someone could potentially replace that scanning device with a fake scanning device, just like they do today with credit card readers, right? Aceves says he believes the technology is the future because it's convenient for consumers. Now my palm? Jeez, come on. Reporting in San Jose, Justin Campbell, Cron 4 News. Okay, and there you have it, man. You see what I'm saying? So, this is what they, these people are, are, are pushing out here. Now, this man, you know, this was a video from three months ago, but this was last year. You know what I'm saying? Same old thing, though. They probably, let's see. Digital wallet. Amazon is ramping up its contactless payment system nationwide that works by scanning the palm of your hand right there. Kiddo takes it for a test drive. So the new payment system 
treatment systems have been rolling out across the country for the past year. Finally, here in the Bay Area, we get our very first one, and it launched this morning. You really got to hand it to Amazon. Will you be paying with your palm today? For trying to put the future of payments right in the palm of your, you know. Right there, perfect. It's called Amazon One, a new contactless payment system that launched for the first time in Northern California at their store in Santana Row. To sign up, first insert a credit card and then hold your hand over the special camera. It'll scan the lines, ridges, and even pattern of veins inside your hand. The algorithm then creates a unique palm signature. The whole process takes about a minute. And you can just hold your hand right over it. Tommy Alas was the first person in the Bay Area to sign up. Uh, what'd you think? Uh, I think it was really cool. Very convenient uh, form of payment. It was quick and easy. Liz Gonzalez thinks the new technology could come in handy. That was easy. There you go. People like me, I'm very forgetful. <laughs> I always forget my credit card or my watch. And now I don't need to remember to bring my palm. <laughs> if anyone can get this popular, it'll be Amazon. Ian Schur with CNET says all signs point to this new technology as being safe and reliable. In the past year, the company has rolled out the palm scanners to 60 locations around the country, including mobile ticketing for a concert venue in Denver and a number of Whole Foods locations. But for consumers, old habits die hard. The reality is that a lot of introducing new technology is convincing people to use it. And how much easier is it to use than just pulling out my credit card and paying that way? But we Americans are very hesitant to jump on this stuff. And so I am curious to see whether or not it's really going to end up going anywhere with us or whether we're going to wait until some other technology comes along. In San Jose, Kitto, KPIX. Okay. So as you can see, the guy was making great points, but the thing of it is, is it's going to come to a point where they're going to mandate it, so to speak. You know, because the technology is there, you know. So when this when this dollar drop, <laughs> you're not going to have no choice because they're, they're, they're going to have it set up where this is all that we have. We're getting rid of that out, out with the old and with the new. You better get on board or other than that, you're going to starve. And that's going to be the start of it, man. I mean, they've already get, gave you a test run with COVID-19. <laughs> they gave you a, a test run with with, OK. Uh, who's going to comply with, you know, with, with, with rolling up the sleeve and, and not rolling up the sleeve? They already pretty much they've been doing that. They've been gathering all the data that they need to um, roll out this plan. man. China is already popping. <laughs> America is behind, you know, really when it comes down to it. So they're really ramping up their, um, you know, they're ramping up, ramping it up, man. Because matter of fact, let me get let me grab this one last scripture. Revelations 12 and 12. All these prophecies and revelations, man, they're starting to come to pass, man. That's why it's so important to wake up and um, it's high time to awake out of sleep, according to Romans 13 and 11. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. We're in the end, man. These are the, these are the very end days, the last days. I just done a lesson last night on that. They had an article where, you know, it was talking about... Um, Basically, how many people believe that we are in the last days? And it's, it, hey, it's, it's a great number of people really believe that we are Christians, athe hell, even atheists that was in that article. They believe Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore, rejoice, ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time. See, the devil has a short time. You have a short time. Matter of fact, let's get that. Romans 13 and 11. There's a short time for because the Lord is coming soon, man. You know, it's only a few last prophecies to jump off before the Lord makes his coming. Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. See, that's pretty much going along with that Revelation 12 and 12. They know that they have but a short time, so they're getting busy. And the Lord is letting us know, or letting you know, or, you know, letting us know through the prophets that we have but a short time. Because these things were spoken of 2,000 years ago. Now, we're living in a time period where we're actually seeing these things come forth right in front of our face, man. On the news every day. 
you know, you look, this marriage equality shit that Joe Biden just dropped, that's all a part of the end times prophecies, man. The wickedness of this place. You see? This place is wicked as hell. How long do you think the Lord is about to let this, this place go on, man? Verse 12, it says, The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. See that? So, the devil has but a short time, which is the so-called white man. He, he knows that the Hebrew Israelites are awakening. The prophets are out on the highways and byways. And, and prophesying their destruction and the children of Israel are waking up. So they know that they have but a short time. So guess what they're gotta they're gonna do? They're about to start pushing this shit like it's nothing, man. These people are actually putting this stuff right in your face now. It used to be, oh, that's a conspiracy theory. Oh, that's get out of here. That's sci-fi. Oh, that's in the movies. Now all of a sudden you're seeing this shit right before your very eyes, man. You're living in the last days, man. So you know, I just wanted to touch on this. Hey, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we have to always do these videos and let you know that the Lord is, is, is doing all this for you. He's overturning this planet for you on your behalf because you are his children, the apple of his eye. You are the Hebrew Israelites. So you have to repent to the Father, which his name is Yahweh, which means that he exists where he is to be in Paleo-Hebrew, in the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai. You have to repent. To the Father in the name of His Son, and the Lord is not some white guy. <laughs> the Lord is not some blonde-haired, blue-eyed white guy, man. You got to get that out of your out of your head, man. And His name is not Jesus. That letter J is only like five hundred years old. The Lord walked the earth two thousand years ago, so they wasn't calling Him Jesus. They was calling Him by His Hebrew name, Yahweh Shai. See, so it's a lot to learn, but you have a, a short time period to really learn this in. First off, you just have to repent. And come into this truth and, 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 and start to check out these videos and start to learn and get into the scriptures, man. And preferably, you can learn the fastest and the best way to learn is through GMS, Great Millstone. Um, the, the Hebrew Israelites of Great Millstone GMS. Type that in. Google that. or um, Go to YouTube and you'll see these brothers come up and you'll see the apostles, man. That's, that's out here with this 100% truth. You see, because and, and, it's a lot of camps out here. It's a lot of Hebrew Israelite camps, a lot of Hebrew Israelites, but not all of them are, are telling the truth, man. Some of them are no different than a Christian church, which you got to come out of those churches, man. You see, because you got people out here right now, our people are out here as much as food and everything is costing and inflation and everything is, that's all this shit is costing, you know, this astronomical amounts out here. And our people still are making room for Christmas gifts, man. For, for an idolatrous holiday You should be holding on to that money man Just to just put food in the refrigerator You see what I'm saying So you know that you know, that's another lesson as well too But I just wanted to bring out this Amazon thing And that it's in the casino Just letting you know You know what I'm saying Like how Really simple this thing is becoming Like they're trying to make it mainstream Like it's so cool And it's moving pretty fast See like with us older you know, generation or whatever, you know, we're not with that shit. But a lot of these, these new, these, these kids, you know, from, I say from the ages of 16 to like 25 to maybe 30 or whatever. Hey, they with this shit. This is, this is the cool technology for them. This is no different than getting a tattoo for them. This is no different from them smoking on a vape pen, man. You see? So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.